Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with a 16 by 20 inch canvas and some Chantilly lace from Color Art. I'm a Color Art affiliate. Look for the coupon code underneath the video in the description. I've got a couple acetate cards and an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula, omelet turning flip and fold spatula from Good Grips. And uh, I want a background for something and I haven't been able to make one yet. <laughs> because I keep making paintings instead. So I'm going to try again and uh, I don't make any promises. So I'm going to use the Chantilly lace I have in the center-ish and then add colors. I'd kind of like some color blocks and I'd kind of like to use up some of this paint. This is, uh, the small bottles aren't as nearly as much fun as the um, eight and a half inch bottles. This is Sour Lemon. This is a prison pour. And it doesn't look like I'm going to use it up today. But I am going to use some of its Sour Lemon and Orange Crush counterpart. That might go a lot further than I imagine. To get rid of that paint chip I just saw. Perfect. This is Plum Blossom. That was Jasmine, their primary elements, which means their pigment powders mixed with Vivid Polypore or Vivid Enamel. And I think this time I'm going to use. A little bit of the frostbite with ultramarine blue, rivet intense ultramarine blue, in, and uh, and a drop of the red violet, which I might want to find right now, right after I put some indigo violet in, which is a prism pour, I believe. And here's the ultramarine blue I mixed with. I believe I mixed it with Floetrol, but it's hard to. Remember, underneath the video you'll find the colors in the description and you'll also find my paint pouring recipes. And if you ever need something, just ask me. You might want some orange in there before I'm done. Let's do the uh, saffron. Now that makes me want more Jasmine and a little bit of black raspberry and I think I'm going for the poinsettia too. Although I've got some big apple I wanted to use up and that looks like the right place for it to me. Although not much is coming out. There we go, that's a little better. Hopefully that's not in the wrong place. I think I will add a little bit of frosted berry just to mute that color down a little bit when I get to it. I'd never mind having colors left over in my spatula as long as they're all in a similar color family. So I'm going to be minding the, the yellow it doesn't get too mixed in with anything else because it's right there. be really surprised if this is any different than the others. I just love painting with color art colors. I'm going to take that yellow, put it right up there and get that thing out of there. What are you thing? You are a thing that does not belong. Now you can put some paint right on the blade of your spatula. And I want some more yellow, but I think I'm going to take it from over here. I 
didn't stay yellow. So what if I can't make backgrounds? <laughs> Never mind. Fewer strokes with colors that will blend together and make a color you don't like is the answer. Less is more in that case. I want to knock all those colors off my spatula. I might even want to wipe off my spatula. Oh, I didn't get my studio rag wet. I need to. I use sweatpants, old sweatpants material. Both sides. I'm wondering, I'm thinking saffron and maybe Tuscan sun or gold. And I'll have to choose whether to use this or not tomorrow because I haven't seen anything I don't like yet. I kind of want to put some of that royal sapphire I just pulled down in there, but I'm not sure where that would go. Cover all my missing spots. I think over here. Let's see. Let's get every bit of paint off my spatula. Put it on the side that I need it to be on. And of course, I'm going to. Those little lids are a double edged sword. There, I don't mind that. Quite like that, actually. Yes, I see that spot that needs to go. I kind of want to keep the white, though. There, that's good. I want to be very careful about how many times I drag through. I also think I want some blue velvet, but I want to keep knocking off the paint. And covering those missing edges. Because if I can get wet paint on that edge quick enough, the paint that's beside it will probably pull something down over. So what do I see here? I was going to put it on the spatula. I see I've got some canvas in there and I'm definitely contemplating filling that in with something. And in this case, I think it's going to be Jasmine. A little ultramarine blue, vivid intense. Oh, boy, I'm tempted. This is a little tiny bit of midnight shadow. Whoops, that was more than I thought it was going to be. And see, that is Poinsettia. I really don't want to get rid of this down here. That's the problem. So a little bit more. What am I looking for I don't have? I think it's going to have to be Plum Blossom. This is sort of like the dots. I like the combination of colors on the blade of my spatula, at least until I don't. <laughs> I am going to use 
some frosted berry right there. And a little bit of jasmine. And I've got beautiful colors on my spatula. What am I going to do with them? I wiped them on, I wiped them off, but that kind of worked. There I go, I'm still making a painting. I want jasmine up there. Even though there's still some schmutz on my spatula. And I want something green over here, which in this case is going to be some more royal sapphire. Definitely. Uh, I see I'm pulling paint off, so it's just about time. All right, well, tomorrow will be the day when I decide what I'm actually going to do. But right now, do I dare? Can I get some? Should I open it? <laughs> that would probably be so helpful. And I just put a paint chip in there. And the tweezers are traveling with one also. Come on off my tweezers, you. A little red down there. A little red up there. I've got pretty colors on my spatula. That didn't seem to hurt anything. I do remarkably well with all the bottles that I have hanging around. I have to tell you. I kind of want some more purple. And in this case it's going to be black raspberry. paint chips from between my fingers. Oh, I just got rid of some white I liked. I think I'm almost done. I'm not sure about this over here. I can't believe I got to keep that blue without it turning green. That's very cool. Blow on it just to spread the paint. And I don't mind adding some of the paint on my spatula to areas that have less contrast and adding a little bit of depth with a new mark that's darker. All right, there's another painting. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know what to call it yet. The other one is deep water. reminds me of stuff I used to do when I started painting with acrylics. I was a watercolorist for a long time and hadn't ever painted with acrylics. But once I started, all bets were off. I love color art co colors, prism pores, primary elements, pigment powders. I mix with vivid polypore and vivid enamel. Part of me wants to put some more pink, some more uh, Chantilly lace back in. But I think mostly what I'm going to do right now is put a little more black raspberry 
in that one spot and remove that thing that it does not belong. And then I'm going to call it good for now. I have no idea if I will be willing to paint over this tomorrow. Paint over is a harsh way to put it. Add uh, surface texture. I kind of want some gold. I guess I'm not done. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Helps if it comes out. Alright, I've still got three minutes. I can almost get that gold out of there. My tip is clugged. Clugged? Clogged. Come on, tweezers, do your job. The tweezers are on my Amazon link. And they're usually pretty awesome. I always wanted to do that, just add some gold in a strand. I don't see why I shouldn't get away with it. I hope so. And I just dragged my bottle through the painting, which is a perfect excuse to add some more. I'm sure that'll settle right in there. I'm not sure about this anymore, and I have another minute. And I could just leave those, because I have GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures. But I'm happy with that now. And happier with that still. I'm going to have to throw my spatula in the bucket though. I see a little canvas, which is a perfect opportunity. And one bubble, which I'll take care of with my fingernail. And it plugged up again. Darn it. Plugged up and splooged. It's okay. It'll just be good texture. Let's make sure it's open. They're really like that. That was Indian Spice in case I didn't say. I would not expect this to become a background anymore if I were anyone. So I will get down there. I'm probably going to look for bubbles with my torch before I do anything else. Pretty painting. I want some more Chantilly lace right in there. I got one minute left. Shh, timer. Alright, any gold that's left in there is as it will be. Helps if you're not holding your phone while you're trying to do this. Cool. First time with the bottle lines. Alright, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. A couple of my websites, The Gallerist, uh, Pixels.com, Fire Art America, my Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, privately, one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, 